So like a lot of the previous weeks, I've been uh, pretty busy, so I didn't really have time to watch a movie. Well, I know I didn't have time to watch any movies this past week. So I, it's probably been about a month or two ago since I saw this movie. It was when it was in theaters. Since then, it has come out on Blu-ray and DVD, and I just got it today. So I thought I would review it. Got it off eBay. Cheaper, because it's actually pretty cheap for being a Blu-ray, and it only comes in Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. And I think it sells new for like 25 bucks, which is pretty cheap for a brand new DVD, or brand new Blu-ray. I got it off eBay for just under 20 bucks, I think, and that is Buried, as you can tell by the title. Now, I was going to say this right off the bat, if you absolutely hate Ryan Reynolds, then this movie isn't for you, and you probably shouldn't even consider it if you absolutely hate him. If you're iffy about him, or if you like him, then this is going to be a movie for you, because he is the only person you see in the entire movie now, he interacts with people throughout the movie, but it's via cell phone, and you never see them. The only person you see for the entire 90 minutes of this movie, Ryan Reynolds. That's it. So Ryan Reynolds plays a U.S. truck driver. He's in Iraq, and he wakes up in a coffin. Now, he only has a few things on him, and among those things are a lighter, some flares, and uh, a cell phone. Like I said, he, contact, he uh, interacts with people via the cell phone, or via, if you're an asshole. He soon finds out that he has been kidnapped because uh, Iraqi soldiers, I guess they think either he's an American soldier or he's something more important than just a truck driver. And so he's able to call 911, however it's someone in like Idaho or something, some random smaller state, uh, wherever the Blackberry's from or wherever he is from. And uh, doesn't prove to be much help, but then they end up getting contact with uh, the embassy, I believe, that's in Iraq and there's some people who are trying to find him. It turns out this exact same thing happened to another American. Unfortunately, they didn't find him. So, it's a race against time for Ryan Reynolds because it, the coffin, running out of air, of course, as being buried underground, and sand started leaking in, and there's some snakes in there, and just not a good situation to be in. It really isn't. This movie's received quite a decent amount of good reviews for the most part. Ryan Reynolds does a very good job for being the only person in this movie that you actually get to see. I myself, I don't mind Ryan Reynolds, I like him as an actor. And he's one of those actors who is very versatile like Will Smith and Jim Carrey in the sense that he can be very comedic and very funny like Van Wilder and uh, Just Friends and comedy movies like that, but then he can go to dramatic roles like we've seen in the past in the Amityville Horror. Somewhat, he was comedic and kind of somewhat dramatic, I guess. Not really so much dramatic, more so comedic in uh, X-Men when he played Oh, why did I just go to, I, say, I went to say Cesspool. Whatever his name was. Deadpool? Yeah, I think that was his name in that movie. And in this movie, of course, it's a drama. There's nothing funny about being trapped in a coffin in Iraq with snakes and being held for ransom. Or whatever it is. I think that's what he's being held for. But it's very good. It is a very good film, I'll give you that much. Out of 10 stars, I'm just going to get right to it. 8 out of 10 stars, I would definitely give it. Because, of course, there is going to be some downtime where... It's kind of like, eh, okay. But I do like the fact that they didn't waste time. Like, if this was any other movie, or directed by anyone else, or with, made by any other company or anything, there would be like half an hour of unnecessary storyline. And they do a really good job of introducing who he is as a, as a person in the movie. And they tell you a lot about him with just being in the coffin. Uh, I can imagine that it was probably pretty claustrophobic being in that for however long the shooting was probably at least a month at least unless they just managed to do it like really quickly but um and of course he probably wasn't in like an actual coffin the whole time because there are some scenes where um it's really overhead probably at least like 10 feet up and it looks down at him though they could have just done that with no they, i guess they couldn't have done that so there was at least some a couple feet of space above him so it's a very well done movie and apparently Paul Conroy is not ready to die. That's who he plays, by the way. Paul Conroy. He's not ready to die. He isn't. So, like I was saying, I think I said this, it only comes in Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, which I never really understood why why you need a DVD and Blu-ray combo pack. Unless you just love lending your movies to other people. I think all you need is the Blu-ray. Because, well, if you have a Blu-ray player, all you need is the Blu-ray. And if you have a DVD player, the Blu-ray is 100% useless to you. But, I don't know, I've just never understood why you need that, unless you want to lend the DVD to people who don't have Blu-ray players, or you like watching it in a certain room, like upstairs we don't have a Blu-ray player, but down here I have my PS3, so maybe if I really feel like watching it upstairs, but 
I don't know, I've, I've been getting into collecting Blu-rays lately. So anyways, it's a good movie, and uh, there isn't really any special features aside from the original theatrical trailer. They say it as if that's like, it's like an old movie. They do that with old movies, like the Warriors from 1979, they have the original theatrical trailer, but this, you can just go find the original theatrical trailer like on TV still, because they still advertise for this movie. Uh, I don't know, but it's a good movie. And I am not throwing this at the camera because, well, quite frankly, because it's not a dollar store movie. And I just paid 20 bucks for this, so I don't feel like ruining it. That's it. See you next week.